From 1721 to 1953, Greenland was a Danish colony. Because Denmark kept it closed to the outside world and controlled all travel onto and off the island, very few Danes or Greenlanders made journeys in either direction. Between 1900 and 1939, Greenland was gradually opened up and more Greenlanders and Danes were able to travel to and fro. The majority of journeys from Greenland to Denmark were made for reasons of education. The main fields of interest were theology, health and social studies, translation and education itself. Orphaned and disabled Greenlandic children were also sent for stays in Denmark. During World War II, contact was disrupted by the German occupation of Denmark. Greenland was secured by American forces, but German troops tried to establish weather station on the island's east coast. In 1953, at the request of the United Nations and following a Danish referendum, Greenland's status as a colony changed and it became a Danish administrative unit known as an Amt. This meant that for the next 26 years, it was governed as an integral part of Denmark. Then, in 1979, the Home Rule Act granted Greenland limited autonomy and gave it control of several government functions. Greenland gained self-rule in 2009. Most areas of government are controlled in Nuuk by the National Parliament. The Self-Government Act also means that the rights to the island's underground resources and its raw materials are the preserve of the Greenland government. However, the Danish parliament still has jurisdiction over areas like defense and foreign affairs. So, the two countries have a long shared history with an uneven balance of power between them. Together, Greenland, the Faroe Islands and Denmark constitute the Kingdom of Denmark. The Danes and the Greenlanders are two nations that are very unalike. They look different. They have different languages and cultures. They differ in their values, humor, cuisine, and much more. Even so, their shared history means that many Greenlanders live or settle in Denmark, often because of educational opportunities, or for reasons of family, or work, or as a result of health issues. Denmark currently has around 5,800,000 inhabitants, and 17,000 of them are Greenlanders. On the other hand, there are some 57,000 people in Greenland today. Inuits make up 85% of the population, and the remaining 15% are Danes. Preconceived notions of what and who the people of Greenland and their descendants are go back a long way in Denmark. This often results in prejudices, misunderstandings and an underlying racism at both the individual and the societal level. Danskere og grønlænder er meget forskellige folk med forskellige sprog, kulturer og traditioner og måder at tænke på. Men siden begyndelsen har grønlænder og danskere indgået i familiære relationer. Disse familierelationer er ofte skabt over flere generationer. I vores projekt blandt grønlændere i Danmark prøver vi at undersøge, hvilke betydning de her relationer har haft mellem de to folk. Igennem interview med grønlændere i Danmark undersøger vi mødet mellem en minoritet og en majoritet. Vi har interviewet grønlændere eller personer med grønlands baggrund om deres identitet og påvirkningen af den i mødet med det danske og det grønlandske samfund. I det møde oplever vores informanter stor uvidenhed om Grønland og grønlændere. Denne uvidenhed fører ofte til fordomme og forudindtaget holdninger, men også til positiv interesse, som vores informanter står overfor i deres hverdag. Det kan blive udløst på grund af deres navn, udseende, sprog og væremåde. Dermed kommer deres identitet i spil, hver gang de går ud af døren, på godt og ondt.